Welcome friends, let us watch a small people FACO. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis and people of this size about 3.5 mm. This is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratum on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now this is a side boot on the right side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. This is a side boot on the left side of the main incision about 2 and a half clock hours away. An air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Underneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior, anterior capsule. This is a bit of adrenaline to see if the people dilates well with adrenaline or not. No. In this case, the people didn't dilate much. But there was little bit of dilatation because of adrenaline. And the size of the people is about 4 mm now. And now watch visco. Injecting visco just underneath the iris. The antechamber has been underfilled and visco is being applied behind the iris so that a space is created behind the iris. And this is the pupil expansion device that I am going to use. This is B hex invented by Dr. Suven Bhattacharji of Kolkata, India. The leading flange has been tucked. This is the flange on the left side at around 1 o'clock. It has been tucked. And now the flange at 10 o'clock is to be tucked. I hold the middle tab, pull the flange. In this case, I am using a blunt chopper to retract the iris. And yes, I could gently place the flange behind the iris. So the flanges has been tucked properly. Size of the pupil is about 5.5 millimeter now, and I'm going to do a capsulorexis. A capsular tag has been raised by tearing off the anterior capsule at the center with the tip of the uterine forceps. Now the capsular tag is guided all around and the rexis is completed. Now hydro dissection 27 case cannula and BSS is being used to do the hydro dissection. In small people we have to be very careful. There should not be any fluid build up, so a small amount of fluid is injected and it is injected slowly. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus rotates nicely. Some more visco. And now is the time to introduce the FACO probe. The machine being used is Oatly Cataracts 3. The vacuum is 450, flow rate is 45, ultrasonic energy a set is 60%. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed first. And then the handpiece is turned. And I'm going to do direct chop in this case. bury the teeth into the substance of the nucleus, hold the nucleus very firmly and then chop the nucleus. 
and now rotate the nucleus 90 degree hold it on hemineucleus is held with high vacuum and it is chopped the other hemineucleus is then chopped so we have got four large fragments each fragment is tilted it is chopped again into two pieces and then emulsified tilted held divided into two pieces each nuclear piece is then emulsified though the ultrasonic energy is set at 60% most of the time ultrasonic energy being used is 30 to 40% now nucleus and epinucleus has been managed nicely now is the time to clean the cortex inject some visco now I'm going to use Simco for some time to keep enough time to my assistant to get ready with bimanual irrigation aspiration I've enlarged the main own because I'm going to use a B cartridge, a white bore cartridge for injecting the foldable intraocular lens. So most of the cortex from inferior part has been removed and some cortex in the upper part is remaining. And now the irrigation goes through the right side port aspiration through the left and uh, remove the cortex vacuum is 300 for flow rate is 30 and cortical cleanup is done this is hydro polish so cortical cleanup has been very satisfactory in this case the advantage of this BHEX people expansion device is the iris is at its original plane. It doesn't come up or go down. It remains at its own plane. Now the antechamber has been filled up with visco and here goes a uh, single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag the hook is being used to dial the lens And now I'm going to remove the BHEX. Hold any flange which is above the iris, pull it centrally, then again go towards the angle. All the flanges will get untucked and then just pull it out. This BHEX forceps helps a lot in application and removal of the device now cortical cleanup is being done with the help of this Simco cannula it goes behind the eye well also to irrigate and aspirate visco from the capsular bag I use Simco for some time and then I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration bimanual irrigation aspiration works very nicely when there is less visco in the anterior chamber And now 
here goes the irrigating cannula through the main wound irrigation of the anterior chamber is done and then it goes behind the IOL irrigation of the capsular bag is done again it comes in front then irrigation and aspiration is done using the side ports in this way a lot of time is spent in cleaning the visco about two minutes or two and a half minutes this is moxifloxacin now the side ports are hydrated at this time a lot of particles go into the anterior chamber and so I give a final wash a final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is then nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills particularly in application and removal of BHEX people expansion device be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.